how about you, Lou? Tell us a little bit about yourself, please. You know, I'm uh, I'm entering my fourth decade in consumer electronics <laughs> and retail, and it's it, it it's kind of funny to look at, but it's kind of an interesting story. I mean, I was 17 years old, was working at Kmart. I got laid off for making out with my girlfriend in the stock room. <laughs> And, and I think that may still get you laid off today. Yeah. I'm not sure. I also remember that because then my dad got on me and said, "Well, you got to get a job." So I got a job at uh, Baskin and Robbins, wow. and okay. I got hired. I really want to work flavors. there. Thirty one flavors, and I walked out of that place, and there, I was supposed to start the next day. And it, this is in South Texas, and there's a strip center, and right next door to Baskin Robbins was a retailer called Dyer Electronics. And I walked in there, and I put something on layaway for $39. Layaway. And I literally put like three bucks down, right? And had a great experience. I went home, and I got a phone call from a guy named Jose Posos, who was the actual manager of the store at the time. And he goes, he goes, hey, you know, my boss was in the store, and he thought you'd be really good in this business. Any chance you need a job? And I'm like, well, yeah. And he goes, well, why don't you come back here? Wow. Let's talk about that. And I have been in the consumer electronics industry ever since. Now, the retail end, you know, I did 18 years on the floor, loved it. I was one of those guys that didn't know you were doing 12-hour shifts until someone told me 10 years later, you know, you're working 12 hours a day. I loved it. Interacting with people, selling, everything was different. You're with your friends, you know, it, it was just, it was a good time in the, in the 80s, you know, to sell hi-fi.